Hello. Good day. Uh. Hello. Sorcerer. Is it Zinin? Frax? Joe? And is it Geely? Am I saying that name correct? The Firebug. Hello, hello. Guys. How are you all doing today? Geel? Geel? Going. There's how's it going, dude. Thank you, Drew. Guys, for those that don't know, there's a pinned message at the top. I am actually ill today. Um GL. Okay, GL. 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 Okay. Uh. Uh. I apologize for the sniffles today. Um, today's stream may change slightly for the fact that I am a little bit sick today. Um, so if you are here to kind of learn about editing and know more about gaming stuff, I will do my best to help you. It will be a shorter stream, so I'm probably going to be online for like an hour or so. Because I don't want to, I want to make sure that I can, um, a stream for a little bit to give you guys what you wanted. And also make sure I'm looking after myself. So I apologize for the uh, shorter stream than planned, but. Hello, I'm here. Oh no, our network frames are dropping. That's rather unfortunate. Hey, doing, coach. Hey, doing, coach Jimmy. As you can check the tell, guys, I'm probably with. I you know, sound a bit. Ugh. One second. Here we go. Hey, Faniel. So, yes, I am roughing it through for you guys because I'm ill. You can probably hear what I sound like. I'm also going to change the lights. What color should we go for, chat? Red and purple? Blue and purple? What are we thinking? Hey, what, are we, what are we thinking? Red and white? Red and white feels very YouTube-y. I have a separate YouTube channel. I have a second channel for when I do want to do game stuff. Yes, it's it's on my channel page. Cheat codes, kind of. I'm going to be answering questions. So I'm ill today. So I'm probably going to actually change the title of this because it was going to be a different stream. Um, maybe like tricks for edit, uh, tricks for editing better videos. We'll try that. Tricks for editing better videos. I apologize, chat. I'm changing things on the fly here. Oh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Yep, yep. What's the Konami? Is it Konami code? What's that one? Is it? Is it up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right? B A star. Is that what it is? <coughs> oh, got a lot of YouTube often. I try and do two streams a month on YouTube. I'm gonna be doing more though. Probably gonna increase it to four and do one a week. We shall see. Um. But yeah, for those that are curious though, um, I apologize. So just kind of laying the groundwork right now. I am feeling sick. I am not feeling all too well right now. You can probably hear it in my voice and in my nose. It's, it's like congestion. It's like a cold. So I apologize for for this. I apologize for it. It came on today, this morning. I felt Roku feeling quite rough going, oh, I feel a bit, I feel a bit groggy today. Maybe it's just because I'm tired. No, nope, it's because I'm sick. So we are going to change some of the things that are going on with the stream. Um, I am going to be showing you guys um, some editing stuff um, with editing gaming videos and editing in general. And if you want to ask any questions uh, about editing stuff as well, um, my plan for the stream was going to be around um, how to edit gaming videos specifically and like the process I would go through when I can still do that if you want to um I can show you that kind of very briefly and go through that in a very kind of like um in a in a vague way I guess we could call it in, in, in less of a um less in depth as I was going to and I can show you 
uh, kind of my thought process for editing game videos. Thank you guys for all the the well wishes as well. I do appreciate that. I know I shouldn't feel I, I shouldn't apologize, but I feel like I have to because I feel like I've plugged the stream a lot, and I'm like, oh wait, I'm feeling ill now, so I'm changing things on the fly, and I apologize for that. Be similar for beginners. They are, well, the tips I can give you are basically kind of like around the craft of editing, not so much the the kind of tricks for like um what do I call it now for like um the very loud music trim uh it's more so kind of the craft rather than the the software tricks so what i can show you if let me load up one of these real real quick i can show you one of the things that i did um for one of my uh, who's watched the video recently which was the um why you're gaming uh, nobody watching your gaming videos this is why it was the most recent video on my channel I uh, posted a few few days ago and I wanted to kind of show you um talk about that for a little bit and kind of like talk about the the process I went through for creating a gaming video and kind of what I would do for for that so let's start off and talk about this so this is the timeline let me move my camera up here there you go so this is the timeline that i was showing off in the video it's a little bit different because not everything because when i'm working on a video i usually do stuff um out of out of order so i usually film the stuff and then do the b-roll afterwards you know and i kind of know what i'm talking about and i've already done like a pre i started doing like a pre-edit thing here and this is kind of showing kind of the timeline this is a bit more this is a more advanced timeline that i was working on and we have the music section here which is what um, I talked about <clears throat> in the editing video kind of helping like, you know, make stuff kind of sound good um, So the edits a bit all over the place, right? Um, but it's it's more so the um, I'd picked gaming videos, but the process and techniques are for any video It's about telling a good story and learning kind of the the approaches that you can use for telling good stories and the medium was just through gaming videos so that the, the 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 vessel in which i communicate that video is only to communicate the video it's not going to be it's not about like oh it's only gaming video specific it's to show you the process that i went through for making a story but i use gaming videos as the as the example stuff so this is pretty much the, who who here watched that video and kind of understands that if not i can double back and i can talk about some things that we mentioned specifically and there's a few things that i want to talk about specifically from that video that i want to kind of highlight right and there's three main things and the editing part about the editing part starts before you would film the video right and we're going to talk about that in just a little bit i'm starting a channel that you just do from scratch where would you recommend me to start um from a brand new channel um it depends on well, first of all, you need to know this is the, the biggest thing I would recommend doing is to come to this outside of editing. Starting a brand new channel, know your audience. Know who you want to watch your videos. Um, simple marketing tricks. Um, oh my gosh, I think it's rich for 15 months. There's the... Look at that. All those stream elements, of course, is behind. Um, I apologize for that. Although, actually, are we on the right assets for YouTube? Hold on a minute. Oh. That might be why. I apologize. I can't replay the alert. But thank you so much, Joe. <laughs> I think we're on the wrong. We were on the wrong assets for um for, for streams. I apologize for that. So, I'm with you, Generation Nation. I agree. Um, so, <clears throat> um, know your audience. One of the big things. If you're starting a brand new channel, you need to know your audience. You need to know. The kind of person you want to watch your video, you know, do they play the game? Do they don't play the game? Do they know jujitsu? Do they not know jujitsu? They're looking to get into it. Have they been doing it for a while? Da, 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 da. You need to know your audience, right? And the marketing marketing strategy that is used a lot in business studies and the business kind of practices when you're marketing and you know kind of the, the product you're selling. Treat it as treat your videos as products you're selling, right? Right? Treat them as products, okay, rather than videos. And change 
viewers to customers all right thank you game face for the uh for the uh well becoming a member i appreciate that again my alerts are not working there we go jesus christ um so if you have a channel that provides a service or a product or a value or you know something of value you need to know who your customer is and to build a customer right i recommend doing something called what's called a um an avatar right all right avatar is beginners people that are interested in yes you've already done the avatar okay i'd make around two uh, two to three of those right so you've already done your avatar right so you know your audience member what i would do if you're starting a brand new channel is make say four four from four between four and six videos right thank you regeneration nation for the uh for becoming a runner as well i appreciate that guys thank you um make around four two six from four to six not 46 but from four and six videos between four and six videos in a um look at high targeting areas of interest in your in your niche right but also look at videos that are outside of your niche that you enjoy watching that you could potentially twist to be jujitsu videos right maybe you've got videos where you're teaching somebody how to be a um you know, maybe, maybe maybe you're critiquing somebody's fighting ability in, in, in one thing or someone's... How are you... Oh, another YouTuber does stuff, you know. Paul, thank you so much for becoming a director. I appreciate that as well. Um, Find areas that are... Find videos that are from YouTubers with... Here's the kicker here. You don't want to find popular YouTubers. You want to find high-viewed videos with a rate... Again, the ratio kind of depends on the issue. So, like, let's say 100,000 views on a video... They have, you know, around, uh, say, under 30k subscribers, as an example, right? Those numbers are arbitrary. But you're looking for high view videos, low subscriber numbers, because what that means is that person has hit something where there's a massive market there, right? There's a massive audience thing there that people are getting views from, right? You go, right, I'm going to make videos in that same area because it's, it looks as though people are actually in that and people want to see content around that but aren't um getting enough of it hey david trash i appreciate you how are you doing i'm doing good thank you um but yeah that's kind of where i would start make four from four to six videos that target suggested contents which is like browse features right browse and search but fo focus less on search than you might think right search is not a lot of people say just i mean i've done this in the past and i kind of regret saying it which is like focus on search related videos Oops. search uh suggested content takes up 70 percent of youtube's you know algorithm pretty much um you want to target videos that yes have a bit of seo in there some keywords but you're looking to create videos for people right what would you watch by someone if it was targeted a certain way you know you know, that, you know, those kind of things. Hey, you doing, Metal Milkman? I'm doing okay. I'm a little bit sick today, so the stream's going to go a little bit slower than I would have liked. So I apologize for that. And I am going to be... um, I might be finishing early today. Probably like an hour, maybe an hour and a half with a push, you know. Day off running a store. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, take your day off. Ooh. Not fun. COVID's not fun. Thank you so much, core gameplay. But the honest thing is, coach, right, coach Jimmy, if you're making videos on a new area, strategize how you're going to do it. Plan them out. But execution is the most important as planning them out, right? You need to make the videos work. Do thumbnails first. Market research. Make your thumbnails before you start writing the video. Know your title before you start writing the video. Then you can then format your intro and the content around the title and the thumbnail. So it's not clickbait, but you get a clickable title that really pulls people in, right? Filters and searches. It's a bit different on, on, on different niches. So like, let's have a quick little look and see if I can find something, right? So the first big thing. I would do it in a, in a new private browser as well, just to kind of, so you're not getting influenced by the YouTube algorithm. So, let's have a look at <coughs> is it Jiu-Jitsu? 
If I search jujitsu, the first thing that's going to is anime, right? Yeah, just Kaizen. So let's have a look at this here, right? So eight years ago, we introduced Brazilian jujitsu, right? Not all we're after because these guys have got, you know, what's the subscriber count on these videos? 351k, this was uploaded eight years ago. Not really relevant, right? So under the filters here, is it jujitsu? That was that, was that the channel? Let me just scroll back up and double check. It's for jujitsu. Ju jitsu, like that. Okay. So instructional videos, right? You have 16 year olds. So what I would do, filter, I would do this year, all right? I would do this year and I would look at view count as the main thing, right? And I would research. This is the, this is the hard way of doing it. Research. I'd also make sure that shorts aren't included. So what I would do is I'd go between four to 20 minutes. I apologize for the tissue guys. I'm sorry. All right. So look at content that is around. Again, these are like 4.5 million views. The, this channel has probably got what? A couple of million views. Uh, okay. AF1. Yeah, 14.9 million. These aren't the things you're after. So if you're looking at like you just do training. Training. Right. So you'd you'd refine the search and go okay we're getting a little bit too a little bit too specific or open right <clears throat> i tried brazilian jiu-jitsu for 30 days okay 1.4 million views all right let's have a look at this this is 10 months ago oh my god this is annoying me 968,000 subscribers okay so looking at that video and that thumbnail it pops okay so you can probably take that idea you know and twist it you know ratio of views to subs higher the better yes yeah, so you want more views than subs really but 1.4 million to 900k <coughs> it's pretty high up there all right 100k views to learn to too fast okay what about what's this guy's channel at? it's got 102,000 views what is his uh, subscriber count 72k okay okay so not a higher not a massive ratio but you can kind of see like how the title and thumbnail might pull people in he's already got an established audience his videos are getting around you know 25 to 20 percent more views no actually um 30 30 percent 35 percent more views um a fake white belt prank right pro bodybuilder this is pro brazilian jiu-jitsu 42 day 42,000 views two days ago right it's probably going to be this is not with the editing content by the way i apologize i'm going to i'm going to move on very quickly um 487k okay so you know he's got a high sub count probably a very weak video in terms of the other videos i have on the channel two days ago tried to post relatively new uh the thumbnail could be better for that for that video in general it doesn't scream oh i want to click this Right, it, it should be like an inaction stuff, you know. Three day workout, right? For Jiu Jitsu with this training split. Okay, so what's the? He's got fourteen thousand views, and his subscribers are twelve point six k. It's okay, so a pretty balanced view to sub count ratio. Okay, so maybe something worth chasing them. We workouts for Jiu Jitsu training. Um, I tried. Uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for 30 days. This happened. Okay, let's have a look at this one. You get the idea. You get the idea. Kind of, again, I've got to do this. I'm doing this in a, bro in a pro browser. 1.36 million subscribers with 300. Okay, so a lower lower view count there, right? So you, you get the idea. So this guy, Chu Jitsu, 100k thousand views, 108k, sorry. Subscribers 331. Oh, it's the same guy. Okay. Yeah. So 108k with 300k. You know, you got to try and balance the views more, right? You get the idea. You get the idea. <clears throat> Pretend, yeah, I've noticed that, uh, Game Face. Yes, I've noticed that. That is a thing that I've noticed. But you get the idea. That's kind of how I would tackle that. But let's move on. That goes for all niches, by the way. Also, look for videos outside of your niche. You go, oh, wait, I could actually do this, you know. 
should be on it for years i'm with you yes i do regeneration nation that is for the channel review streams they are for tier two members um they happen every well they happen once a month um the information's on the discord and all that how you doing alex lad oh okay so when it comes to editing videos i have this section i'm actually going to delete these subtitles because they aren't the most important thing here who has seen um the video where i basically did the mozambique challenge right the, the edits where i did the mozambique challenge what i was like focusing on making a gaming video with a story uh telling narrative Who's seen that video and who's interested in knowing kind of more about that? Because I can ask you any questions about it or I can kind of dive into the process because the the uh, the main kind of starting point that most, I want to say streamers because I find it more common in streamers than YouTubers, right? <clears throat> Is um, I think that Twitch streamers are a lot more, how do I word this in a nice way? but it's also kind of driving a point home and that is that most twitch streamers don't look at content creation the same way as youtubers do right um they don't have the initial um insight that provides them with the ability to make content that can stand well on their own i see a lot of you twitch streamers making episodic content episode one two three four you know um they do X, Y, they do this in this episode. They do like Last of Us is pretty popular again at the minute because of the TV show. I'm seeing so many people do episode one, episode two, episode three. And while there is an audience for that kind of content, I'm not saying there isn't, right? Thank you so much for becoming a director, t -Mug. Thank you so much. Um, While there's an audience for that kind of stuff, it's not, not the kind of content I recommend making for... Establish. Does anyone does anyone know why you shouldn't, in my opinion, shouldn't do episodic content? Does anyone here know why? Anyone here know the reason why I recommend not doing that? And it's an interesting thing that many people talk about because, well, I don't think anyone wants to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Bad for drawing in new viewers is a big one, okay? Episodic is like part one, part two, part three, episode one, two, three, right? No one switched for episode 58, exactly. That's another point as well. You can, it's a bit more than against pigeonholing yourself, right? Yep, yeah, Zorbis has got, the, got another point there as well. <clears throat> Large YouTube channels can do it because they have an audience for it, okay? So the first big thing is, is that it's not evergreen, is it? If you think about it, episode one, you've already dated yourself. All right? Episode one on a video, if you title episode one, you've already dated yourself because it's now not evergreen because now there's episode two, three, four, five, six to come out after that. You've not created something that's going to last a good longevity on YouTube. The second point is this, right? YouTube doesn't work like TV in the sense that you aren't watching a channel in linear time right you're not watching a tv show linearly you're watching you're getting recommended and fed content time after time after time after time so while you may watch episode one right you might get recommended episode four on your youtube homepage, or you may or someone brand new might watch a last of us video then get recommended episode four for your content why would they watch episode four when they haven't watched episode one two three prior to that right why would they do that right why would they do that? They wouldn't, right? Who here has watched episode four before episode one, you know? I would look at Let's Plays, right? In a different angle. You can still do a Let's Play, right? You can still do a video that is about a game and you're playing it, but you need to look at it in a different, in a different lens, okay? Somebody asked me a question a few days ago on the comments, and that was, about that video and that was what do we do if it's a game like 
um like god of war god of war came out, came out recently uh was it what, back in november or something like that and great game amazing game and so many people have done let's plays of that right it's exactly okay here's here's the thing right now the story is exactly the same thing every video will have exactly the same narrative exactly the same reactions exactly the same or not exactly the same reactions but exactly the same like the spine is the same there's no variety with watching 30 let's plays of the same game right what is different however is it's you playing it right it's you that's pressing the buttons it's you that's getting the reactions you that's feeling the emotions you that's you know it's you that's doing this stuff right everyone will, will know what the god of war story is after after two or three let's plays right however your take how you felt what you did the way that you reacted is different instead of making three oops, instead of making like 30 episode videos right make one video right make one video make it a little bit long or maybe make it you know like you know say 12 say medium form medium form video 8 to 12 minutes maybe 15 minutes and it's your reaction how you felt about the story what is it that drew you into this game beating a difficult boss playing a side quest w what was it about this game that made it important for you it's almost like a review but it's not a review at the same time right so i think of it like this like so you're battling one of the bosses in um let's say in, in god of war i'm trying to think i'm trying to think of it i'm trying to do it but not give spoilers right you're, you're trying to feed a, a a creature in in god of war but it keeps kicking your backside every single time right yeah that moment of you getting kicked down and back up again kicked down and back up again kicked down and back up again you can edit that into a narrative that isn't solely about what's going on, on screen what's going on up here what's going on up here what you're feeling and your frustrations you, and you can do like a reflective talk about that during that moment put some action music to it make like you know like this thing was kicking my backside but i was determined to get through it you know you can then elaborate on what you're feeling make it intense make it you know like, make it about you that's the difference that's the difference between a, a a let's play a boring like you know we're going to play the game versus i'm going to play the game my way and show you what i experienced and what i felt two very different sides of the same coin right you create emotion and connection with this with the latter versus you you're just playing a game i see so many people do again it's like three hour long let's plays on live streams of just doing this it's like yeah you may get a couple of views you may get some people that are interested in watching that but it's not the same right it's not the same right and i, I would be more interested in watching the latter if it's well edited right if you're there jumping in and you've done a really cool montage at the beginning of the of the of the video of you kicking all these guys of all the uh, you know all the demons and all the you know all the all the creatures and all the you know things that are attacking you you've done a really cool montage of that right if you focus on your story playing the game it's going to be a better video right and that's why right hey you doing i'm solid i appreciate you being here dude thank you so much right <clears throat> and for that video is it okay to bring live stream footage in? yes yes I, I would say your live stream footage is actually going to be um like important to you as a, as a creator because you have natural reactions there the only thing you can focus on is like is adding an extra bit of life to it you know cutting those live streams down to mini medium form videos and adding your own video adding your own you know importance adding your own perspective i edit videos that are easy to edit you know what that's a great great way to look at it i wish every video was easy to edit <laughs> and that narrative that storytelling thing that i talk about it can be applied to it can be applied to any game right everyone's played minecraft well, well not everyone i believe actually marquez tweeted out recently that he's never played minecraft so not everyone but a good majority of people have played minecraft What's the same process for building a house? You get, you get the you get the blocks, you build the house, and you survive the first night, right? You're surviving the first night. I, I don't know if anyone's done a cinematic edit of surviving the first night in Minecraft. If they have, I haven't seen it, right? If they, if they have, they've titled it in words anywhere that I've not watched it yet, right? 
change up the narrative change up the the the, the way it's been been told if they might everyone's like nah i'm trying to use a boring game not a boring game but a, a, a game that is like how do i make this a story if you look at the right stuff you look through the right lens you can make a story out of i'm gonna say 95 percent of things even videos already have a story right you just got to look at it from a different, different perspective. Like an Apex video, right? So let's leave us into this Apex video. Um, a lot of the content you see on YouTube and on, uh, sorry, on, on Twitch, right? I mentioned it earlier. It's very reactive, right? It's very reactive, okay? So a lot of content on Twitch. What I, so what I mean by reactive is that something happens, you clip it, that's your content, right? Something happens, you clip it, that's your content, Right? However, however, if you change it to be more proactive in that in that reaction going, okay, I'm going to go in and, for an example, I use the Mozambique um, idea, right? I'm going to go in with the intention of trying to win a game using only Mozambique. So that's the only gun that I can use in Apex. That is it, okay? That is my intention. Boom. Okay, my character is me. The character of my story is me. The goal is to win the game with this particular weapon what's the natural conflict you'll find in a battle royale game <laughs> that'd be kind of cool milkman yeah what is the natural natural thing that occurs in a battle royale game that is the, the conflict people with better guns exactly you've got people with better guns you've got sweaty sweaty players in apex right you got sweaty players in warzone you got people that are gonna try and get the win as well right they are they are also after the win you also have people you have not finding the gun you could go for ages not finding the gun right and the natural conflict is winning the match you you you, you are against naturally better components uh, opponents because they have better weapons so your story is getting from a to b however these are in the way boom 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 right no ammo that was something that came up during the actual recording right so this is kind of where i was like okay cool i could potentially make something with this video right first game that i play or rather the second game that i played it was the second game i think it was i nearly won the game i nearly did the challenge nearly did it i nearly did the challenge right that was it this bit here right here i have right i don't know if you guys can see here right i have in apex right right here i have six kills and hang on 1600 damage and here i get 700 i get 1700 damage in apex second game with two mozambiques right now that i'm looking at this in the moment while i'm recording and i'm and i'm, and I'm going okay right I'm, I'm, I'm nearly winning this all right i need to either win it and use it as a game for later on or <coughs> i need to intentionally or unintentionally throw the game now me nearly winning the game this was unintentionally i was actually trying to win this because i got so invested in the game i was trying my hardest to win right i did lose squad got eliminated i got six six kills nine knocks 1700 damage right right here yeah now anyone here raise your hand if you would look at this game and see it as a failure Raise your hand and be honest if you would. Raise your hand and be honest. If you were to go, oh, I didn't do it. All right, start again. You'd wipe the slate clean and you'd try again. Want to change your story? You want to play Apex? I'm not sure. I'm not a fan of shooters. Uh, they're all the same, just not interesting to watch. But I will lurk in streams for people that like it. I don't watch it. I'm with you. I'm with you. Sorry to not have to redo it. Okay, there's there's the first thing. You've actually hit on something that you should do anyway. Solid. Right? People love redemption arcs. Okay, that's another good point. Yeah, yeah. So you've gone from failing, you failed the goal of the video, right? You would have thrown, you might have gone, ah. in, that, in that moment, you might have gone, right, you got to start again, delete the recording or file it away, do something with it, get rid of it, I've got to start again. This game is the game that I'm going to do this challenge in. However, in a story, right? 
if you fail, right? If you fail this video here, right? If you fail here, you could actually use this to tell a, 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 a obstacle. Exactly. A good first pass, right? It's not if it's an obstacle. It's just going the way. You need to be aware of this. But you can actually use this to make a better story. I mentioned it in the video. We're going to mention it again here. There's a moment in storytelling, right? You see it in films all the time, in TV shows all the time. It's called, the moment is called, the all is lost moment, right? It's a moment of defeat where the main character encounters something or do, something happens that takes them to their to their knees, right? It's like, oh God, I want, you know, they, they've gone down, they've, they've failed what they need to do, they've failed the task, right? I, when this moment happened, I instantly saw it as like a, wait, I could do this. I can use this as a moment in the video to create this. So this is what I did. I did a thing, I pivoted, right? I pivoted my storytelling technique from this moment. And a lot of this is like about editing, but all of this came before I even touched the timeline, right? I pivoted from this moment after this game. I was like, okay, no, I actually quite like that. I'm going to use that for game because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus on failing. I'm going to focus on landing and dying. So I want to create the feeling. There's a key word there, emotion. I want to create the feeling that I am not going to be able to do the challenge as well as I did the first time. I want to create the feeling of I'm down and out. Like this is going to be harder than I thought it was. The first game I threw it. What was I thinking? Every game, every time I'm landing now, I'm getting just, you know, taken out straight off the rip. I'm being eliminated off drop. It's not, not working, right? I wanted to create the feeling of desperation. And I wanted to create what's called the combat moment, right? In the storytelling, right? That's hilarious, rege regeneration. Um, but I wanted to create the feeling of like, right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this challenge even if, even if it, it kills me, right? That's 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 the feeling I wanted to create. So, I reached out to my friends Candy and Boom, and I said, "Yo, help me out with this challenge. I need some help with this. Can you give me some advice?" And they were like, "Yeah, sure, let's do it." Right. So I jumped in with them, right. And they also decided to take part in the challenge. They didn't tell me this until the time of recording. They were going to be like, oh yeah, we'll join in as well. We'll do it as well. I was like, oh, okay. Creative brain kicked in. And I was like, okay, so I'm actually going to play Loba because if we need three guns, we're going to need it, right? Because now, not only are we going to need three weapons, right? For three people, it's going to make the challenge even more difficult if we're all using the same gun, right? So I said, I said this, right? Let me, let me so play. I think I'm gonna play Loba. I yeah, think. Lo Loba ends up being so important for these challenges. Because yeah, we'll just need to. Yeah, we need six of them. So the stakes are ramping up now. We need six Mozambiques rather than just yep. two for me. <laughs> yeah. So this is exactly. gonna make it even more difficult to do. What do I say? see that point there? What I see what I did there when I was recording? I created called it's called a setup there, right? So the stakes are ramping up now. We need six Mozambiques rather than just yep. two for me. <laughs> Yeah, so this is exactly. going to make it even more difficult to do. What I did there is I laid the groundwork for future me to use in, in an edit, right? I may not have used that line. I may not have used it at all, depending on what the story is. But I planted a seed that I was like, okay, if I, if, if, the, if we fail, because I'm pretty sure we're going to, right? For a couple of times, right? I'm going to use this in the edit to set up something later on in the future, okay? I'm going to use this to create a level of anticipation, you know, hey, Dean Brucifer, a level of anticipation, a level of like, ooh, it's getting even more difficult now. The stakes are ramping up. Things are getting even more intense, more difficult, All right? So we jump into the games, right? And we start playing, okay? Now, one of the funny moments here that I highlighted, which is this, so we had this moment here that happened, and this is great. So this is kind of where editing meets natural storytelling, right? Boom <clears throat> is saying this. I think the drop rate for Mozams is pretty good. Okay, I just found one. Just found one. Got and Sam's Mo almost got a stick as well. All right. So, Boom says the drop rate for Mozams is pretty good. The next thing it cuts to, like 98, 99. Stick going is down a here. Is a shot to me putting my Loba stick down. And then the next thing that is revealed, right, is there's no Mozambiques anywhere. None. Sell up and pay off. Right there, naturally happening. Set up and pay off. These moments are 
random okay they are completely random but this is where reactive and proactive content creation come into play right? there's a bit of a dance going on here right if you're proactive with, with with the intention of something and then something like this happens right this is something you should lean into heavily lean into it because it will aid the story it won't damage it this will aid it if you do it in the right way and communicate the intention the right way this kind of stuff will help you with your storytelling right so with the edits boomer conveniently said that right it was almost like a perfect storm that happened right boom said this then the stick went down and oh no ammo oh no no gun sorry crap okay yeah exactly right <clears throat> be not go okay right this situation happened in my you got to pivot you know to be able to be a good content creator you need to pivot to what what it gives you right you're so good scott i saw your thing dude congrats man i'm happy for you um let me know how it goes but um yeah so no mozambiques so now i left this audio blank here right i actually muted all my audio and just get the game audio in because this is where you can lean into adding extra context through a voiceover or a piece of camera or something like that don't be afraid of going back in later on and adding a voiceover right or adding context to the emotional gravitas right of the situation you know like i could add a moment here right so this bit here the drop you. rate for Mozams is pretty good. Okay, I just found one. Just found one. Got and Sam's almost got a stick as well. All right, 98. So what I would do is here is I would actually mute my audio here. I'd open up my audio. I'd actually mute <coughs> my audio here. And I would add a voiceover line that said this. I would go, I'd I'd say, we'll go here. Got and Sam's home. almost got a stick as well. And just like that, with Boom opening his big mouth, I put the stick down, and then all of a sudden. There was absolutely no Mozambiques to be found anywhere. Uh, Mozam? Right. So with that, a greater challenge befitted us. We need to find the right weapon. Otherwise, this challenge will be a dud. Oh, crap. You see what happens when you add context like that? Do you see what the difference it adds? To it? Like, you can add extra comedy, like extra context. You, you, you craft the story the way that you want to. You go, oh, boom, open his big mouth. Now there's no Mozams anywhere. Right? Right? And then you go, oh, okay, right. Now it's going to be a dud, you know. So you put your voice over the line here. And then, and, and to make matters even worse, we started to get we started to get shot at. Oh, crap. Okay, we got to back up. We got to back up. We got to get out of here. Mozambique okay, uh, obtained. Found one. You sure you weren't? Oh, Jesus. Ah, she's shooting me. Uh, oh, he's... <laughs> so... Boom actually destroys this person, right? And again. Oh, good. Go, uh, let's go back to Fragment. Again, keep the story moving. We we stayed here for like another minute in this area, just looting here. Boom said this. Let's go back to Fragment straight away. Oh, good. Go, uh, let's go back to Fragment. Back to it. Back on the story, right? We've given context. Oh. Look at them running. Imagine if I Missed. get hit here. <laughs> right? We, we had a bit of fun here. Leading to the funny moments. Imagine. <laughs> I'm 15! 15! 15! Dude, wow. that's three hits in a row. Wow. I'm dead. Ah! <laughs> missing every shot. I'll lean into that. Storytelling wise. Okay, I'm missing every shot. Okay, we'll lean into that. Cool. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead here. Is he on you, bro? Uh, no, he's in the bottom door. So, this moment here, I'll probably trim down even more. I'll probably go like. Oh, I'm dead. Maybe I'll, maybe instead of the, this bit here, I'll go. Where do I say I'm dead here? Oh, I'm dead. Okay, what I'm going to do is actually going to start this here. So this is what I'm going to do here. This is going to be a core technique, right? I say this line here, I'm dead. I don't want it there, right? I've got all my audio split up into channels here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute all the game audio here. So we just have me saying this. Oh, I'm dead. Right? I'm going to trim that line. Oops. I'm going to trim that line to just that section. Right? Of just my clean audio. And then I'm going to bring it down. And I'm going to put it underneath me getting shotguns now. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead here. 
See what I've done? See what I've done? See what I've, see what I've done there? Is he on you, bro? I've created momentum. I've kept the pace going. I've not cut out anything, but I've kept the pace going and I've added context. Oh, I'm dead here. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead here. Is he on I've you? I've added desperation there. Is he on you, bro? Uh, yeah. No, he's in the bottom door. So maybe here I will mute uh, their audio. Right? So I want to focus on... Yeah. Maybe add a bit of voice over here. Candy gets absolutely melted here. I want to highlight that in the video. That is a, a zoom in. Dude, that, oh. that guy destroyed me. Yeah, holy fuck. Um, I'm going to mute their audio. Because actually, oops. I want to mute, mute Candy's bit of profanity there. So I'm going to get rid of that. They destroyed me. He did not miss a shot. Then I zoomed in on my how much health I have when I got away. Because I know that I want to add that voiceover line that I did in my original recording, which I actually have. So... So let me go here. All right, oops. Where's the bit that I uh, did that voiceover? There we go. So, <clears throat> let me grab this here. Copy. Let's go back. And I paste it here, all right? I'm gonna gotta play around with the length and the timing of this because I actually changed uh changed some stuff, right? You can create you can create retention with that. Right, so this is what the, the voiceover sounds like. Me. With boom and candy down the ah! So I'm gonna mute my audio here because I actually oops, I don't want the audio there, hit the wrong key. I'm gonna mute that. With boom and candy down the I'm gonna bring my game audio down here as I bring the voiceover in. Oops. Destroyed me! With Boom and Candy... I'm going to move it back just a little bit. Destroyed me. With Boom and Candy down, the odds seemed to be against me. My friends were dead and my health was low, but the fight wasn't over yet. Summoning all of my many hours of experience in Apex, I clutched up ah! and sec... Yeah, the clutched up here. X. I clutched up... Ah! And then I want to trim it there. Ah! Oh, crap. You see what that, see what that does there? Add extra context, that's just a bit of drama, a bit of comedy, you know, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> it's a Final Cut Pro thing. So we have so on, on in Premiere you'd have the channels already out. And you'd have them all laid out for you. An affordable editing course. Um it depends what software you're using. Um so guys, YouTube shorts prove that the majority of people, majority of people that are under a certain age. If people were really reducing short attention spans, how is Avatar The Way of the Water um, as successful as it is right now? How are movies as successful as they are right now? What, you want, what you're looking for is to create an engaging story, right? Retention is a different thing, right? Retention... Okay, getting a large... Getting more views on a video is... Retention is one part of it, right? Right? I know people that watch two hour long videos because that's what the content they enjoy, right? You have to know what audience you're targeting. Making a Mr. B style video is generic as hell, okay? The audience you're trying to attract might not enjoy that kind of video with that kind of niche, right? You gotta look at your audience first. Not so much the because you wanna be like Mr. Beast. Look at your audience, you know? That's where you get the, the, you know, I clutched up. Ah. I did a much better edit on this version here with the uh, voiceover. Let me show you this one here with the music as well. Jesus. Yeah, that's, dude, that, yeah, that guy destroyed me. With Boom and Candy down, the odds seemed to be against me. My friends were dead and my health was low, but the fight wasn't over yet. Summoning all of my many hours of experience in Apex, I cl Proven to work though? It depends. Mr. Beast's last video was actually a different editing style and that did better than his other videos. A slower paced video can work as well. Clutched up and secured the... Ah! Never mind. I died. This is you see the difference between that kind of like the the original... With the voice server, it makes a difference. <clears throat> oh, okay. I want to show you this bit, actually. So, you see this bit here in the video. 
we started to get so go back to storytelling real quick right we hit upon an important interesting situation that i didn't anticipate during the uh kind of the initial stages this is where that react reactionary content comes into play right we had a real big problem with shotgun ammo right during this uh during this recording or during this gaming session right a real big problem with it with shotgun ammo and can we had, we encountered the problem first then candy later on down the line says a line right so this is kind of where i'll show you where we are in the video here right so this in the video here is at around um 32 minutes into our segments this is this is boom's angle that's actually all of our angles so 30 minutes into our recording this is when we start to notice oh there's not a lot of shotgun ammo right now candy says this line that makes a big difference right yeah, I think ammo would be a serious issue if we're all using Mozam. That's what Candy says. He says ammo will be a serious issue if we're all using Mozam. Watch where this pops up in this recording. It actually pops up 10 minutes later. That line does. It pops up. He says that 10 minutes later on into the actual video, right? The badges is because they're members, solid. Because um, they become members um but they um oh let's see if bt tv and it should be tv so there might be different badges for different things i don't actually know what badges you're talking about but the badges i can see are the youtube ones the um the members but yeah that line comes up 10 minutes later all right it actually comes up here right ammo would be a serious issue if we're all using those ammo yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has been so far. I, I literally crafted uh, 64 that game. See this bit here? All right. That line happens then. So you know what I did in the story? The moment we start to notice shotgun ammo being depleted is around right about here, right? Two bunch, mo's ammo. two mo's ammo right here. There's not right. a lot of shotgun though. No. Yeah, I think ammo would be a serious issue if we're all using mo's ammo. What does that do? What does that do, guys? Does anyone know what that does <clears throat> overall? Anyone tell me what that does? The best way to build a, a Mr. Beast editing style is by doing it, by actually editing. It's very, it is, it is a very fast pace, very cut the corners, you know, get it done, you know. I used a, I recorded with, um, <coughs> For this, I recorded with um, two things, right? So I used the moments.gg app, right? Now in the moments app, right? This was the Steel Series app. It lets you record um, different things. So like, so like, oh, there we go. So um, on the on the on the moment. I'm playing Overwatch here. Um, with um, the Moments app, right, you have these things here. So if I move the around a bit, so, so we have audio device, chat device, and microphone. So if you're playing this, if you're playing a game, it will appear on audio device. So this is the, the game audio, right? This is Discord, and that's microphone. So if I hit play, you can't hear the game, right? But if I talk, the microphone will come through, right? Audio device is just this oh hang on a minute I'm unmute it it'd be great wouldn't it okay <clears throat> that is what that is right what the hell is this okay um that's how i did this and that when you when you send that file to like premiere or final pro or resolve all the tracks will come out as my audio device chat device microphone you can also do it with obs as well if you want to do a lot longer recordings, this will save clips up to five minutes in the past. So if you get a kill, it will save the clip. This is called Steel. This is the Moments app. By it's a Steel Series GG app, and it's the Moments feature. So on the side here, it's called Moments, and you can go into settings and you can configure all the settings for recording stuff. 
And then in Final Cut Pro, what I did was is I assigned these to different roles. So I have, if I press Command 4 here, you'll see I have Discord, Gameplay, and Dialogue. <clears throat> for multiple people's voices, what, there's actually a, a, a bot that does it for you. His name's Craig. Right? The bot, there's a bot called Craig. I'm going to show you this chat, right? All right. For those that are curious for how to do this, right? This is Craig. Say say hi to Craig, chat. Say hi, Craig. Right? Is the multi-track voice channel recording bot for Discord, right? So if you have 10 people in a voice chat room that you game with, right? And you record each of their channels separately and have multi-channel audio, say someone's too loud, someone's too quiet, someone doesn't have enough, you know, someone says something bad, like a swear or something. This will record each of their independent channels and it will record them at a quality, right? All right. Even speakers join late, every audio file is delivered with in perfect sync with each other. So you can use the web app to record in higher quality of Discord. So use the web app, right? So use the web one versus the, the Discord app one, right? You get multiple formats. Each purchase, you get 10 audio files. Then you can then sync them together and do all the stuff with, right? Or you can get them mixed down or you can get them as individual tracks. So lots of options. Craig is a cool bot. You can also dedicate it to a single channel as well. I think you can record to like 10 or 8 hours, I think it is. Oh, 6 hours. Yeah, so you can record for 6 hours, keeps you ready for 7 days. I've used this in the past, it's really cool. It's very useful. And then you just do the same thing. You make a, a, a synchronized clip or a multicam clip or multicam sequence. You can have all the, all the audio channels already there. Really useful. And the great thing about that is, is they all start at the same time. So there's no syncing issues. So like, who here has recorded audio with multiple people? Right? Yes, per channel. Yes. Right? Who here has had the issue of going, right, three, two, one, record, or three, two, one, sync, and you have to do a clap? I think it says Craig will record up to six hours. So I'm going to assume six hours per channel. Right. So <clears throat> this eliminates that need because do the clap. All right. Three, two, one. Synced. You know, there's our sync marker. <clears throat> right. This record at the same time. As soon as it joins the channel. It will start recording. Everyone then starts at the same time. Everyone starts at zero, zero, zero. So it's very useful, right? So that's an, that's technically an editing cheat code, isn't it? All right? A clap and the Discord desync. Yeah, I don't know about desync with Discord. We'll see with the. Uh, I mean, I mean, it starts at the same time. But there may be some drift here and there, depending on kind of the codec you use and the and, and the recording time and the, the the servers you're using again it's very it's it's you're working with an application that isn't you don't have full control over so i wouldn't be too worried about it moving out of sync you know okay so going back to the point of this so let's go back to the let's go back on track right for the next half an hour let's finish the stream off right back on track okay why would i include an audio line of candy saying that there that early on in the video why would i take it from later on right and bring it further in time what am i doing there what, what what's the process of doing that it is invalid are you sure about that oops it shouldn't be because that that is the It works for me. It works for me, dude. Maybe you're banned? I don't know. Unless you're on an IP address and someone's got banned. <clears throat> um, What's your Discord ID? I don't know. I'm not, we're not banned anymore, your name.
Are you on mobile? What's your username? We'll check it out. Is it the same as I am solid? It may, is it auto banned you? I want PC. The links act weird on mobile sometimes. Oh, okay. Oh, you're on PC. Hey, Lintish. Oh, come on in, dude. What's your Discord name? Horror. Wait. Oh, ho. A three R's in there. Yeah, no, you're not in the ban list. <clears throat> two R, yeah, there was two R's in the middle and two R's at the end. Yeah, no, you're not banned. Try going to sandboarder.com slash discord. Try doing that. Maybe because you're going through YouTube. Potentially, it's being iffy with you. Try going through Samwater or use the link in the description. I might try that one. Anyway, the reason why I'm putting Candy's line here, right, is to create something could call foreshadowing, right? Exactly, right. It's called setup and payoff, right? We encountered that that problem throughout the video, right? We encountered that problem throughout the video or through the recording where we kept running out of shotgun ammo. We weren't making, we weren't getting enough coming back, right? I'm using Final Cut Pro. Uh, super super shrek um and so i use that as a, as a as a means to create a running thread or narrative it happens again here candy goes down here i also have this moment here where boom's head pops up right dude he's got the eva you have the mozam i also tried to also i did that as a edit as well i did a little thing which slides inside out there we go awesome you're just youtube being finicky the crap Woo! is there any shotgun on that a little bit so i said a little bit here right i could the audio up again here to make it sound a bit better a little bit you do like eat through shock and ammo real quick though that's the only oh, yeah. thing yeah the bad thing though is the mozam it shoots pretty quick i don't even have a bolt and i felt like i i, I shot like 50 ammo but there's no more bullets so we need to craft yeah there's a crafter right here see what i did here look look what this is. look i want to show you this real quick see this line here i'll show you this edits real quick okay so we need a craft. Boom says this. So we need a craft. That line, right? If I just can make a copy of this and show you what the original line was, right? This was the original line right here. Huge of an incidence of a shotgun bullet. So we need a craft, right? So there's a long pause here, right? Let me uh, let me go back. Let me show you kind of the uh, the audio in general. So like I, I I shot like 50 ammo, but there's no more bullets. So there's not really that huge of an incidence of a uh, shotgun bullets so we need to craft so he does this this so we need to craft bullets so we need to craft so what i did here but there's no more bullets so there's not really that he says so twice let me show you kind of what I, what i did here right so there's no more bullets so, so th this line here but there's no more bullets that's there i want to cut it there right and I want to go to the so we need to craft line. Shotgun bullets. We need to starts there, right? We trim it there. But there's no more bullets. We need to. So we need to like play around here with the uh, the audio. There's no more bullets. So there's a so there. Can I like bring this in? Oh, there's no more bullets. bullets we need to. Oh. Oh, there's a weird sound that's going on. What's going on there? Bullets. What's going on here? Bullets, we need to craft. Oh. We need to craft. It's the so we need to craft bit here. It's this bit here. I made a mistake. So. There's no more bullets. So we need to craft. Yeah, that, no, no more bullets. Then we, we need the the sir bit here for the so. 
bullets. In this noise. More bullets. There we go. So now if we play it back, it should, with a bit of fine tuning, sound a bit better. There's no more bullets. We need to craft. Okay, I need to fine tune a bit more. Wait, nailed perfectly first time around. <coughs> no more. Hey, Lightning, how's it going, dude? There's no more bullets, so we need to craft. Hear that? I know what I've done there. There's no more bullets, so we need to craft. I've created a much more like dramatic sentence from taking two ends of the sentence and bringing them together and kind of making it more of a natural flow. Okay. When you're crafting a story, I'm going to say, I'm going to go on record to say this, right? As long as you are not doing anything deliberately intentional, right? Yeah. It is okay to do this. <laughs> right? You are aiding your story and telling it in a different way. But there's no more bullets, so we need to craft. Okay. And that's what I did. That's what I did here, right? Oh, but there's no more bullets. So we need to craft. So you're saying there's no more bullets, so we need to craft. Yeah, there's a crafter right here. I've got 64 units in production with another million on the way. You see what I'm trying to do there? I'm trying to keep the story information coming while also keeping the momentum going because it's it's a tense situation, right? There's no more bullets. More bullets. But I cut to me before the audio happens. So you, you, you as an audience member, naturally go... I have a bolt and I felt like I... I... I shot like hey, 50 ammo, but there's no more bullets, so we need to craft. Yeah, there's a crafter right. Streamlining the points made, taking out the junk, keeping what's what's necessary, making the story tell. So when you cut to me, and I go, oh yeah, there's a there's a crafter right here. More bullets, so we need to craft. Yeah, there's a crafter right here. I've got 64 units in production with another million on the way. Yes, you will be able to go watch us, uh, Havocs. There's a crafter right here. I've got 64 units in production with another million on the way. Oh God. I missed every shot. I have 15 bullets <laughs> right now. Again, voice over line here saying <clears throat> with rationing worse than World War II, we, we scavenged for shotgun ammo, you know? I think I think everyone's coming in to fight. Yeah, Sam behind you. Run. Bracelet out. Run. Yeah, bracelet. I'm I'm out of there. Everyone's here. I think everyone you is here. You got port candy? Get us out of here. I don't have port. I just I just Extraction. got rest. Extraction. Oh, dude, man. I was hitting them. <laughs> I'm getting more, more, more footage of me just shooting the gun. A funny moment here that I was gonna play up and like put some music, like like did, like put some like um, music to it. Oh boom. Um, um, okay. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. Again. <laughs> you just Come died on. to the Mozambique boys. Feast on There's, the no shotgun. There's no shotgun. <laughs> There's no shotgun ammo. Uh, Are you just... serious? Again, voiceover work would uh, be allowing me to add more context to the bits leading up to that, right? But with another loba stick down, we still would. Amber. But that problem still came back to haunt us. You know. Uh, just... Feast on There's the no bounty. Shotgun. There's no shotgun. <laughs> There's no shotgun ammo. Uh, Are you just... serious? You see, I can't... The captions there with X record power. Yeah, again, you can play around and meme it up, you know. You see, I can't believe there's no shotgun ammo anywhere on any of these boxes. Yeah, no Dude, yeah there's not a lot of pools of it. Now, here, voice line. With only five squads left and not enough shotgun ammo for us to see the end game, we were in a desperate situation. We needed to find something. Otherwise, it's game over for us. That's how the voiceover would work, right? But then the Apex God smiled on us and gave us exactly what we were looking for, right? Give me that stick. Feast, feast, food. Ah! Oh, oh man. There's so much shotgun ammo. Uh, they just ended. Oh, there we go. Now it's the final game. We have enough shotgun ammo. We are loaded. We are kitted. We're going into the last fight. Oh no, they're fighting. They're fighting. This is it. This is it. We have the music. Oh God, if we don't win here, we're dead as <laughs> on. You hear what Boom said there, by the way? Oh god, if we don't win here, we're dead as on. 
another key point, another story point there. Hello, Ray. But yeah. When you are filming a video, when you're making a gaming video, you need to have a balance of being proactive and reactive to the kind of stuff you're going to be coming up with, right? Proactive in the idea. You need to come with an idea of what you want to achieve by the end of the video. Okay, you can't go into a live stream and go, I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna get 10 headshots this game. No, you know, I'm gonna, or or like, or you can say that if you want to make a video on headshots. How many headshots can I get within 24 hours? You know, something stupid. We kind of funny, right? You know, you need to have the ability to go in with a, with a plan. Okay, be, be strategic with the content you're making. Don't go live with the intention of just going live to play a game and see what happens because that is probably the weakest form of content creation in my opinion right it's kind of falls into my argument that i that i that i don't think that streaming and creating creating content are, are, are equal balances of the same thing right you can be streaming right now right and you you could be doing anything but making content right um you could be streaming and not making anything. You could be like just, just chatting with your teammates. Most streamers use the streaming angle as a way to just play video games. Okay. Don't be that, right? Actively go out and produce stuff, you know? Actively go out and produce stuff relevant for your niche and relevant for your content for your audience. Okay. Okay. Use a mixture of proactive and reactive content to get what you want. So, so the way again, watch that video that I published like a few days ago. All right. Now that I've kind of had my rant and, my, and I've finished the video off, right? Again, again, I also don't leave anything to the end. I literally end um, the video. Slept on. <laughs> yeah, it's actually quite nice. It's a great gun. I end the video right away. I don't leave anything, anything else, right? Now, does anyone have any questions about editing gaming videos that they want to kind of have a, like, a bit of a discussion about or anything for the last like 15 or so minutes of the stream? <clears throat> anyone? I think one of the biggest things, one of the biggest takeaways that I want to give you guys is don't look at gaming or gaming content as a linear narrative, right? If you're telling a story, use the material to tell that story, right? Use the material to tell that story. Why more viewers and subscribers? I think I'm looking at the wrong end of the telescope on that one. Why more viewers than subscribers? What do you mean? Like more views on a video? Um, let me answer Mil Milkman's, uh, Mil uh, Milkman's question first. When it comes to viewers and subscribers, right? Um, that's if you're growing a channel and you're looking to target and be strategic with videos, right? So the reason why you'd use more views than subscribers is that if they have more views than subscribers, right? For particular views, videos, for particular videos, it's important because it shows you what content that person's making in your niche that has a massive market right you can then look at that and go oh actually this person has like five thousand subscribers but this video has thirty thousand views okay what does this tell me about that that video versus the the creators doing it okay that video to me is found a bucket of uh, it's found a a market gap or a content gap that this person is 
made a video on it's found like oh there's, there's people that are watching that content people that need that content what do you do with that you take that event you use that to your advantage and you go right this person's already done it. i'm going to take not take the idea but take that kind of concept and that audience and go well, i'm going to make videos around that right <clears throat> can you utilize for channels that are pushing hard for more entertaining yes it can do yes 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 it works for any channel it's you understanding your audience it works for any channel if you don't know who your audience is or the people you want watching your videos your videos won't have a purpose they'll be doing nothing right which is why so many twitch, twitch highlight videos and kind of montage videos don't really do that well because you're the audience you're targeting are the people that are watching your streams why would people watch a highlight video from your stream if they already watch you on stream you know like you know, that kind of thing two seconds Hopefully that doesn't bleed through the microphone, otherwise I'm going to get a ban. Two seconds, chat. Okay, cool. Someone's playing music really loudly. Um, how do you figure out what your story is going to be? It really depends. Um, we mentioned earlier in the stream that if you're doing like a gaming, if you go in with like a video, it's a bit of like a. If you have a game, it's like more live action, live action, live service. It's the word I'm after, like Apex, Destiny, um, all that fun stuff, right? Or you have say Elden Ring. Okay, Elden Ring. Apex, any game that's like more live action where it's a live service where there's not really a story there. It's all about you. The idea behind it is that you can go in and kind of craft that as a, as a sandbox game. Don't look at it as the game as the game. Look at it as a sandbox experience, right? So you have what can you do with the game to tell a good story versus what can you do using the game is that the right? I had a, a phrase it once before on a stream, but it's it's what you can, what story can you tell while using the game as a as a as a um. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. Um, what can you do as a um as a way to use the, use the game as your vessel to to communicate the story, rather than making the story about the game, right? The the Mozam challenge can be applied to any any genre, any game. Warzone. But I can only use this this level one axe in Elden Ring. I can only use wooden tools in Minecraft. I can only use you know what I mean? So you can take that same idea and apply it to multiple genres. Now, what you can't do is set that idea and use it against a game, say like God of War, that has an already established narrative. But what you can do is look at you you as a creator and how you reacted and responded and took that story personally and emotionally right most people will do let's plays and look at the game and go oh there's my story i'll do a let's play video and i'll go from a to b and i'll go from c to d you know and i'll do the video narratively there's about three million people on youtube doing that right there's, there's channels bigger than you ever will be right if you do that content there's a citation you if you do that content there are channels bigger than you will ever will be that do that content already that are getting more views than you okay however if you change the lens in which you look at that content and look at that game and go right every single channel on youtube is doing this but what they don't have is you or me you know they don't have you playing the game they don't have your experiences so what can you do what can you leverage with you playing that game that you can turn it into a compelling video that tells a story it's your reactions, your emotions, your story, your 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 experience of the game. You're not making a review video, right? You're making a video that talks about how you overcame boss battles or, or fights, how you know the emotional moments of a story. Like, what? How did you feel when X Y Z happened in this video game? You know, leverage the game's story to your advantage to tell your story. Does that make sense? I don't know of anyone uh, uh, kill, uh, kill, kill, kill noise 
or kennels. Does anyone know where I can uh, acquire free uh, free light clips? So when you're in later clips, for example. I'm confused what you're trying to ask there, Tish. <clears throat> yeah. Never played a Zelda game in your life. That's a good one. Uh, first time, in fact, my friend Boom Razzle did a... Uh, let me show you what Boom Razzle... Boom Razzle, who's in this video, did a video... Uh, did did a video on this he did his most popular video or one of his most popular video right is this look right an apex legends vet first time playing titanfall 2 look how many views that has and look how many subscribers he has an apex legends vet first time playing titanfall 2 you see what I mean? You see how that's different? He's changed the narrative. He's changed the... Titanfall 2 is a story-based game, right? He's changed it from being about the game to his experience of the game, right? People are more interested in seeing people react to something. How many times do you watch reaction videos? Who watches a reaction video? Who, watch, who watches reaction videos? That's what I want to know. Who does that? Oh, I, I, um, I put a YouTube. I would be the best place. I don't know. I don't even know kind of what you're after. So I'm just recording a video. <clears throat> oh, I'd look for like meme things. Uh, if you if you look at meme compilations or video editor, me, uh, meme editing packs, they do these. Look, I'll show you. Uh, the best free meme editing pack for Premiere Pro, right? Uh, the best free meme, free meme editing pack. Yeah, ultimate editing pack for memes, all right? This has probably got like... Um... Mute the video real quick. <coughs> right? What's in this video? Let's have a look. I don't know, but it's just him talking to the camera for really? For, for, for two minutes? Seriously? One gigabyte meme pack for editing videos, right? Stuff like this, like, you know, sound effects. <laughs> Loads of, like, opportunities for, like, meme stuff, right? <clears throat> Again, that's kind of where I would get those, right? Those reaction videos, then just make that kind of content, but change the narrative, make it a more narrative, you know, experience. He reacted to uh, Titanfall story. Let's actually, you know what? I'm sure Boom won't copyright strike me if I show a bit of that video. Let's see if I can find it. Boom razzle, boom boom razzle. Yeah. Let's go and have a little look. Here we go. In dynamic simulation dome three one four. It's a very simple edited video. We shall show you how impressive you truly are. I'm trying to think of something that I've been recommended more. And there we go. Does he do the campaign? There's nothing I've been recommended more. Yep, nice campaign. <clears throat> and he goes all the way through. Okay, I wanted to see if it was frozen or if it was ultra, ultra slow mo. Gosh, this is beautiful. He goes all the way through. White, or, sorry, no, I think he does play White some multiplayer at the end, white. essentially. Hey, no, I don't, I don't think. Yeah, so he does some multiplayer at the end. So he does the campaign and then the multiplayer. He does both. Yeah, 
Uh, one left, one left. It's, a, it, it, it's on boom. Nice. nice. Pretty fun. Pretty cool, huh? So, I'd watch that video, get some ideas. In a real campaign. Oh, you could do the same thing with God of War. And all the other all the other games. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, that's all the questions. Are there any more questions that I missed? Uh, captions when you can use them is a little too much better for shorts and long form if the way I like to use captions is to highlight important information That's how I would do it So don't use them all the time use them sparingly but use them to highlight things that are like either funny Important like booms mention about the shotgun ammo or candy's line about the shotgun ammo. I would subtitle that because I want that to be noted and important. It's a thing of importance. I want that to be shown to the audience. I do Darkcraft. Oh, it's Darkcraft. Okay. Um. I remember word for Mr. Beast. I have not worked for Mr. Beast. Ding. Ah, oh, that's allowed. Um. <clears throat> okay. Do you know have a good place to design that can get some good custom overlays for a stream? I don't really answer that question. I do not. Uh, overall for YouTube channel, would it be better to have more subs? Oh, yeah, uh, I've answered that question already. Editing to the music, Drew uh, asked. Um, it depends. I usually kind of, with music, I usually change my music tracks. Like every once, like every third of the video, I change music. Because you want to create something, something called a pattern break. If people are watching a call, a talking head for too long, or on the same gameplay for too long, or they hear the same thing for too long, it's almost like, who here is driven on the freeway or the motorway? Hands in the air. You've driven on the motorway or the freeway, right? You've all, you, anyone's driven that long. A long car journey, right? You've driven a long car journey, right? Yeah? You've gone, you've taken, seeing you three hours, four hours, five hours on a, on a long road, for a certain amount of time, right? I have, yep, yep. You've done that. How boring is it? Do you fall asleep? Like, do you like zone out? You, 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 you like, you don't, you go daisy, don't you? You kind of like, you, you, you go into autopilot and you forget that you're driving, right? It happens a lot, right? You sweet truck driver. You know exactly what I'm talking about then, right? You kind of zone out your brain, especially probably in the early days when you first started it, your brain kind of just like it switches off. It goes to somewhere else. It forgets that it's driving. The same thing happens for videos, right? People forget that they're like they zone out. They don't take anything in, right? And sometimes they leave. They get bored, right? So what you need to do is you need to break up the monotony of the video with a more what's called a pattern break. Right, you need to break the pattern of them kind of zoning out and, not, and wanting to leave the video, right? Not every three seconds. You might you might have heard that kind of phrase like, oh, you got to have a cut every three seconds. Not like that. You just need to create engaging changes in your video, like changing camera angles, zooming in on things, changing the music in the video, creating some kind of distraction that keeps people watching, right? You need to break the patterns. Otherwise, we're going to zone out and not watch. Anyway, this, you know, so... When you're editing to music, change it up, right? You don't always edit to music. You have slow music, you can't really do that, right? Have action music to kick in and spice things up and then ramp it down, right? Think of it, your edit is like a roller coaster, right? You're gonna have those intense moments and then you're gonna slow down a little bit, let them catch up with the story, let them see what's going on, and then fighting, you know, if you're doing like a battle royale game, you know, it's like, boom, back up again, hit, hit up to like, you know, 100 miles an hour, and then slow it down to like 60, then down again to 40. All right, better win the game back up to 100 or you slowly ramp up the speed from like 30 miles an hour to like 100 and you, right at the end is that crescendo right and it whoo, ends right or it keeps going depends on what you want to do right yeah adding there's actually a great video coming up well, not a great video it's one of my videos i can't say that can i i've got a video coming <laughs> i've got a video coming out at the end of the month um, which is an interesting video and I recommend if you're a gaming creator, I recommend watching it, right? It's called um, 
It's about how Alfred Hitchcock, the famous uh, movie director from the 50s and the 60s and all that, you know, they did a bunch of psychological movies like Psycho and uh, North by Northwest and for... Um, um, uh, what was the other one? Rear Window, things like that. A lot of suspenseful movies. How he can help you make better gaming videos. Do you keep your voice setting in editing versus music? Um, I peak around negative 12, negative 10 on my, my voice. Music comes down uh, below that, like, you know, 16 to 18. Carthu's Dojo, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Mr. The Critic, Carthu, Mr. The Critic. Have they fixed the end of the I have no idea. Copy everything sounds. Um, I mean, Stream Beats is available. There's probably other services as well. YouTube Audio Library, Stream Beats, um, Stream Sites is another place for, for music. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah, make your music ebb and flow with the, the emotion you're trying to evoke. Don't edit just to a video and keep it to one track. Think about what you're trying to invoke in the in the in the person watching. Is it sadness, happiness? Is it is it intense like whoa, that was amazing kind of, you know, feeling. Think of emotion. Emotion and feeling are the two driving forces for videos. You need to think about how you or what emotion do you want them to come away from when feeling when watching the video, right? And chat on that bombshell, I'm actually gonna wrap the stream up. Um, I'm feeling, I'm saying, uh, as I said at the beginning of the stream, I'm feeling really sick. So I'm probably going to like, my voice is starting to ache a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to peel away and take the rest of the night off. I apologize for the shorter stream. I intended to go just a little bit longer, but I'm feeling really, really, really sick. Um, I'm hoping to get better because I've got to film another video soon. <laughs> um, but I might, you might not see a video next month on the main channel. We'll see. Uh, I may do more live streams next month to kind of, kind of get back, to, you know, to feeling better. We'll see. You know, we will be prioritizing health and mental health over publishing a video. That's going to be what I'm going to be doing this year. So, health and mental health, and might give me some time to actually think of what kind of video to do next. I'm having a, uh, I'm having a think about what I want to do. But guys, thank you all so much for hanging out today. I appreciate all of you. Um, I will see you all on the end of the month. We have a YouTube channel review stream. If you want your YouTube channel reviewed uh, as a YouTube member for tier two members, if you want your channel reviewed, uh, make sure you become a member, join the Discord, and then I'll be able to basically you can submit your channels that way, and you can do all we can do all that stuff and all the info is in the Discord, right? Create a schedule for content creation. I don't have X, and I might I don't know my, 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 that might be a YouTube short. We'll see. But guys, I'll see you all next time. You have a good rest of your night and have a good rest of your week. I'll see you all in the next stream, in the next video. See you guys later, right? Take it easy. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good one.